The state governor, Biodun Oyebanji, condemned mother of two monarchs in the state. Plus, sports update. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to Channel 12 News, brought to you live on NTA 12. I'm Bell Futa. My name is Idari Sit. I did The former speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Olakunle Oluomo, has appeared before an eight-man ad hoc committee set up to look into the allegations levied against him by 18 out of the 26 lawmakers who signed his impeachment notice. Parliamentary correspondent Yemi Dalimo reports that the ad hoc committee is headed by a member representing Adodo II State Constituency, Mushefiu Lamidi. Normalcy has returned to the Ogun State House of Assembly following the leadership crisis, which resulted in the impeachment of the former Speaker Olakunle Oluomo and the election of Honorable Oludaisi Elemide as his replacement. Lawmakers at the plenary presided over by Deputy Speaker Latifat Olanle Ajayi received the response of the embattled former Speaker Olakunle Oluomo who responded to the allegations leveled against him by the 18 lawmakers. The House deliberated on the Speaker's response and advised that Oluomo should step aside pending the outcome of the report of the other committee set up to look into the matter. The investigative panel thereafter sat behind closed doors with Oluomo in attendance. Speaking to journalists after the closed door engagement, the former speaker faulted the composition of the committee, saying that five of the eight member committee are not eligible to be members of the committee. I'm here out of respect for the House. Number two, answering question on the impeachment notice is prejudiced because it is in court. Number three, I said if you read the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Section 36, Sub 6A, says if you accuse anybody of criminal offence, you, you must give him the details of that offence. That by that order, when you write order 2, Rule 9, Sub 7, it says any member who signed the petition cannot be a member of the committee. I pointed it out to them. It will be recalled that Oluomo, after his impeachment, approached the court to challenge his removal as the Speaker of the Open State House of Assembly in Abelkuta, Yemi Dalim, NT News. Meanwhile, the Open State House of Assembly has formally sworn in the new Speaker, Oludai Sielemide, following the impeachment of the former Speaker, Olakunle Oluomo. This follows the presentation of the investigative report on allegations of high-handedness, financial impropriety, and others levied against the former speaker. The report of the investigative panel presented to the committee of the whole at the plenary on Tuesday by Honorable Mushefiu Lamidi found Uluomo guilty of all the allegations levied against him by the 18 lawmakers. The House thereafter passed a resolution affirming the impeachment and removal of Oluomo as the Speaker of the House. The lawmakers thereafter moved the motion for the replacement of the impeached Speaker and Honorable Oludai C. Elemide was nominated and thereafter sworn in officially. <laughs>
and that I will serve for death. I will fail the constitution of the federal government. And that I will be right. And moving on, no fewer than 1,600 West indigent students from 53 institutions of higher learning have benefited from Senator Solomon Olamilekon Adeola Scholarship and Bursary Awards. Presenting the checks to beneficiaries, Senator Adeola, popularly called Yayi, restated his commitment to legislative initiatives that would enhance qualitative education and funding for students. Look one, a defensor has the details. The education support scheme tagged first year year scholarship and bursary award program at 532 indigent students from 53 tertiary institutions who benefited from the financial support in fulfillment of the campaign promises of the senator representing the Gunwe Senatorial District, Solomon Olamileko Adeola, known as Yayi. Addressing the students and dignitaries at the event, Senator Adela, who is also the chairman of the Senate Committee on Appropriation, explained that the program is to support brilliant students from the senatorial district facing some financial challenges in their studies and also to complement the renewed hope agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. I want every student in Ogwe Senatorial District to ensure that they, he or she attain his educational intention in life. I don't want to hear that any student of Ogwe Senatorial drop out of school as a result of lack of inability to pay school, his or her own school fees. Their parents cannot do it alone. The federal government or the state government cannot do it alone. And that is why individuals are coming in to support them. And the advice is that they must face their studies. Each of the university students received scholarship to the tune of 200,000, while polytechnic students received 180,000, and colleges of education students received 150,000. As the Senate also gave out bursary award of 100,000 each to 1,000 students spread across the five local governments in Ogun West. On behalf of Ogun West students at large, we appreciate the board for the free and fair process of the award program. It is indeed a free and fair program because my father is not a party member, my mother is not a party member, and I just applied for it and I was just listed. The appearance of Senator, our darling Senator Olamile Konyayi, has come to play an illuminating mission on our dreams. The program is facilitated in conjunction with the Teachers Registration Council of Nigeria and the Computer Professional Registration Council of Nigeria. From Ilaro, Lukman Adeveso, NTA News. In the meantime, Nigeria's bicameral legislature will this Tuesday reconvene plenary with oversight on MDAs for effective implementation of the 2024 budget, topping the list of priorities. National Assembly correspondent Lami Ali. The Senate and House of Representatives adjourned plenary on December 30th, 2023, and January 30th, 2024 is the resumption day. Passage of the 2024 Appropriation Bill was the last legislative exercise in both chambers. Being the first national budget under the current administration, the lawmakers expressed commitment to effective implementation for desired impact. Our duty mainly uh, is to keep our eyes on the ball. We are going to start that from the one to make sure that nobody delays anything on his table. As a permanent secretary, we are watching you. As a minister, we are watching you. As a director general of MDA, we are watching you to make sure that we meet the needs of Nigerians. If it is not implementing it the way uh, Nigerians are expecting, no, it's not going to happen. We are going to sharpen our oversight uh, near in this time around. The agencies that have been provided funds in the budget function in line with those provisions that have now become a law for everyone to follow. Constitution amendment exercise to review some sections will also occupy the attention of lawmakers. 
issue of local government autonomy will be revisited so that the local governments will have the full autonomy to deliver dividends of democracy. State police will also be revisited, especially against the avalanche of uh, the problem of insecurity that we have. Create special seats for women so that they can be part and parcel of the decision-making process. There are a lot of bills, there are a lot of motions. These are the manifesting year. Uh, the, the bills that we have first reading this year we are going to have the first and the second reading and you know the time is good and it's going to be this year most of the bills. The 10th National Assembly has also put mechanism in place to engage stakeholders for a buy-in, particularly at sub-national levels to have autonomy for local governments within its life cycle. From the National Assembly, Lami Ali, NTA News. And talking election matters. The rerun and by-elections scheduled for this Saturday would experience no delay as INEC and the Nigerian Air Force finalize arrangements on delivery of election materials. Mie Ogedi reports that the Chief of the Air Staff, Air Marshal Hassan Abubakar, gave the assurance when the INEC Chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, visited him. That's nine rerun and nine by elections coming up February 3rd, 2024. And the partnership between the ballot and the aircraft crucial for the success of these elections. INEC has control over the ballot, but limited in the area of aircraft to deliver election materials. So, meeting the man in charge of the skies in the nation's military force, necessary. Given the size and distance of some constituencies, we seek the support of the Nigerian Air Force to expeditiously deliver materials to three locations in the northeast, southeast, and the southwest geopolitical zones of the country. Nigerian Air Force has been annexed the dependable partner in both areas, provision of security as well as rapid gathering of electoral materials in all parts of the country. I want to assure you that uh, we remain willing, able, and ready to continue supporting that. <laughs> Pen dotted, warm and shake, spiced with laughter, and this positive atmosphere is expected to translate into early arrival of election materials in the 8,934 polling units in 80 local government areas in 26 states of the Federation. Mayor Ogedi, Antinis. The Nigerian Society of Engineers says the legacy of late Bolude Oyebolu left behind in the engineering profession in Nigeria would ever remain indelible in the annals of history and serve as a pathfinder for other engineers. The president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, Margaret Aino, Ogutala stated this when she led the executives of the society on a condolence visit to the family of the late deceased in Abelkota. Akim Jimo reports. Since the demise of an engineering icon, the late Bolude Oyebolu, on the 14th of January 2024, the Odisha Guaba Eto residence of the deceased has continued to play host to individuals and groups for their condolences to the family of the deceased. The most recent is the visit by members of the Nigerian Society of Engineers from across the country, led by the president, Margaret Aino Oguntala, who describes the deceased as a mentor and role model to many in the engineering profession. Really stood for was dedication and commitment to service. He was also committed to service to humanity at large. Knowing what Baba did and flowing from his life is that every engineer must learn to work hard and be committed to the engineering profession. Wife of the deceased, Phoebe Sola, Margaret Oyebudu, and others appreciated their visitors. A good father, a good husband, a good companion, and generous. We are grateful to the Nigerian Society of Engineers and the president and all the past presidents for visiting us through this in our moment of sorrow, but we give God praise. It's Philip. Bolude Oyebudu was the 12th president of NSE between 1982 and 1983 and was
was a one-time vice president of the Council for Regulation of Engineering in Nigeria. He attended Government College Ibadan and obtained a Bachelor of Science degree in Electrical Engineering from the University of Edinburgh in 1958. Many say the deceased came, saw, and conquered. He also contributed positively to the expansion of the vineyard of God. Aged 93, Ed Oyebolu is survived by wife, children, grand and great-grandchildren. His final journey home will begin on the 6th through 8th February 2024 in Abeokuta, Akim Jimo, NTN News. And that wraps up Channel 12 News. Thank you for watching. Good afternoon. Ready for school? Yes! My champs, they use energy at school. I know because imagine the energy they may have used up to return home this transform every day. Your champs need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved mellow at breakfast. It has nutrients that support energy release to help champs get the most out of their active days. Ready for school? Yes! yes. My champs, they use energy at school. I know because imagine the energy they may have used up to return home this transform every day. Your champs need nourishing energy. Give them the new and improved mellow at breakfast. It has nutrients that support energy release to help champs get the most out of their active days.